Hey, Anthony, I wanted to make this quick shorthand video for you. And I'll try to keep it under five minutes. I almost feel compelled to make it for you and any of your students for this one simple reason. If you know the major system, you already know 85% of Greg's shorthand. Now, I'm going to talk a little quickly talking about the major system because, you know, people in our circle know it so well already. But you can see, I got this camera on a tripod because I'm going to put it down. This is actually the second time I made this video, but my hand was shaking so much. Um, you can see how I used to cheat, you know, you know, to remember T and D meant, uh, one, you know, with the word touchdown. Likewise, in Greg's shorthand, when I was learning that, I just thought, you know, touchdown, we're number one. And then for the D, I would shoot it up, which is just a longer stroke. All right. And the Irish pub for P and B and the same thing with Greg's shorthand. The first P, those are called lip poppers, by the way, is a shorter, let's say, uh, bracket. And the second, it's actually the other way, which you'll see in a second, is a longer one. And the same thing with favor. That first F is a shorter one. I know this camera's shaking. I'm sorry about that. I'll put it down in a second. And the second. V is the longer one, and I know you know all this anyway, but those are the the voiced and unvoiced uh, consonants. You know, F, V, because your voice box jumps a little bit. Same thing with the P. P, B. You know, same thing with the T and D. T, D. All right. These are great suggestions for people learning the major system with N having two downward strokes, you know, you're easily going to remember that's number two. The same thing with M having three. And then uh, the F, a cursive F looks like an eight. I mean, it's a stretch, but you get the idea, man, that you actually recommended this guy's book. I put this paper together for a class I was doing at, at Cleveland State. And you could see, you know, jumping back to our system, uh the major system, how easy that was to remember that uh, tone, 38% of voice communication is tone. All right. We're at three minutes. And, and the reason, see, let me put this phone down. Hey, that's better, huh? The reason, you know, I did the same thing with Greg Shorthand. And I'm not suggestion, suggesting anybody takes the time to become proficient in Greg Shorthand. I mean, these long vowels and short vowels, I skip all that stuff. I just use a long A for everything. All right. Like I said, for P and B, I just think a pub. And when you're at a pub, you're giving somebody hi-fi because their European football team just scored a match or whatever, you know? And that, you know, I know you... you I don't need to tell you about how to lock and stuff because you taught me, but, you know, even with King, you know, like... You could say the king is going over the hill, but then once he gets his, you know, I mean, that's not a cue, but, you know, you know, then it's a longer. And then you could say the same thing. Keep it real. Keep it real, John, you know, for R and L. Again, voice and on voice. R, L, you know, or rail. That goes back to our system, you know, which would obviously be 45. I think those were called the nasals, you know, I know N is a nasal sound, but anyway, they're paired up. And I'll talk a little bit about why I was using Mary in what we were talking about the other day on your channel. Uh, you know, because the, the square root symbol, you could see how that lines up with Mary. I think I said Rita and Mary. I probably should have said Sue and Mary. Because as you can see, you know, the S is more like a square root. But you could see why I said Rita, too. Um, let's see how we're doing. Uh, you know, one of, one of the comments I really liked on your channel 
And this helped me too with anxiety. I'm more of a word mapper than I am a palace mapper. But essentially, you know, like you said, they're the same darn thing anyway. Even a word is a palace in a, in a sense. So you told people like myself that would get stressed out about memory palace, if you can't find something to put in a corner of a room, just skip it. And that's the same thing I would say to teaching somebody uh, learning Greg Shorthand. When I was younger, I mean, all I knew, I didn't know what W meant. So I just I just wrote wood like that, you know, W-D. Now I, you know, I know Greg Shorthand alphabet a little more thoroughly. And I believe that's correct with with wood. I, I'm, I'm sorry, wood, like wood, you know. Would you like to go to the grocery store? And that's could, incidentally. So see how easy that is. You know, once you know could, you know would. And even, I even came up with some of my own shorthand. You know, that was because, and then connective, tissue, tiv. I think that that slash is that way. And I would even incorporate some of the major system. For example, bone would be that, and, and cell would be 05, I believe. And in Greg's shorthand, cell is like this, incidentally. You know, and I was really struggling, man, because I was I was rolling with some high flyers in terms of education, and my writing skills were, bleh. and and the teacher would always say, you know, are, are you done? It was me and this other girl that were always slow, you know. And when I started using that, I even asked him. I said, how come you slow down so much? He didn't slow down. I just got better. And you know, a lot of the the even even simple words like, I'm looking through a camera, Anthony. So forgive me, you know, like. Four would be like that, and uh, let's say many would be like that, you know. And then, and then I would just write out some other words too, you know. Let me let me move along here, uh, you know. That's happy, but you know, let's say you didn't know that the the dot was an eight. The dot was an H. I would just go happy, and then draw that second half. And even for sad, you know. I mean, it's not like you got to know it all, you know. It's just. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and uh, let me close out with this. That was a great suggestion. I believe that's your work, you know, back to math, because that's what I'm focusing on now. Use an anvil for uh, um, the negative sign. I like that. Um, I'm looking through my camera, and I can't see because the, the holding part is right where my vision is. All right, I think I pretty much said everything. Close this out. Uh yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. But like even, you know, like you just jump in and say pub, hi-fi, you got two of them, you know, and, and you know, you know, all this connecting and blending vowels. I mean, I know them, but when I was starting off, I didn't. And it doesn't matter if I'm just using them, using the word for a memory technique. Like, you know, let's go back to the word wood. You know, let's say I just use a W, you know, it would be enough to... You know, whatever, like, let's say we're locking that in with Willow. You know, it would be enough to, you know, remind me of Willow. Because this woman, Willow, likes to ride bikes. And let's say climb up and down mountains or something. You know, and it would be great because if the teacher said, you know, who was Willow? Oh, well, that's a woman who likes to climb mountains and valleys and go up long hills and, you know, whatever. All right, man, take it easy.